Entertainment Weekly's coverage from Comic-Con. I'm Jessica Shaw, so excited to be here with Team Defenders. Yes. Finally, we're going to see these, you know, after these four characters are separate, you know, and their, you know, the rest of their team coming together August 18th on Netflix. How does it feel to finally have this be coming out? Amazing. Yeah. 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 A long time coming. I mean, yes. Charlie's known about it the longest out of all of us, right? When you well, well, maybe James. You, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just I, heard. He just heard last week. Yeah. So this was a dream. I yeah, mean, This exactly. was an idea that, that uh, we took to Netflix and, and basically said to them, uh, there are four characters and here they are and uh, we don't have a showrunner, we don't have a start, we don't even, we want to shoot in New York and we don't have a studio, but we'll figure it out. And they said, okay. They said, here's your money, yeah. And it was like, it was unprecedented. It was like the belief in us was unbelievable, and we cast Charlie first, and uh, and we went off into Daredevil, and people seemed to like that, and then Kristen came along and did Jessica Jones, and Mike did uh, Luke Cage, and then Ben uh, came in and did Iron Fist, and Jess did Colleen, and then in the it. second season we picked up Electra, yeah. and so it's been quite a yes, we did. group. <laughs> So I understand that they're they're kind of different pairings. Like Finn, I understand you and you and Mike uh, uh, that and are kind of coming together, and he's a little bit of a mentor to you in the Defenders. Yeah, I guess kind of. But the, to begin with, like I think everyone doesn't really see eye to eye to begin with, and especially between me and Mike, there's there's friction there. And especially Matt Murdock. Especially Matt Murdock. <laughs> nah, I do. Oh, I die. Funny. Um, <laughs> Marvel right, so humor. I, I, I can't get better than that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, over, uh, in the course of the eight episodes, we kind of, you know, seem to get on. We're rubbing noses. Sorry, right. and, and and Charlie, how about um, I understand? Kind of similarly, uh, Matt and Jessica don't aren't. Quite is I, I think she describes it as a game of cat and mouse that there's some trust issues going on with them. Yeah, I think so. You know, I think they don't um, you, you don't imagine they don't imagine that they would get along very well, Matt and Jessica. Um, they're quite opinionated. They're very, I think they're both capable of being quite stubborn. And I think against their better judgment, they discover that they actually value each other's opinion and abilities, and they and they end up kind of forming some sort of a relationship, a friendship, which is uh, which was really fun to do. One of the fun things and challenges about doing this is that the, and why I so respect Joss Whedon who did the Avengers, was that he had to take all those disparate characters and make them into a team and give them an A and make sure that they all wound up as friends and, and that they all went into a tower and all that stuff. And and we had the fun of being able to take these characters and, and at the end of the story they could go, I, I never want to see you again. Right, right. <laughs> and so, it, it, it was not a, about a bonding experience. It was about a how do we get along experience. And and then having these two to complicate it all was not Just the easy. Touch. Yes. <laughs> well, let's talk about those complications. Like, how exactly are you complicating things? Or what can you say about how you're, I know this is like Secret City. Well, well can we skip? Can we, can we well, do? here's what we know is, is that you were dead. Right, exactly. There's that little uh, complication, yeah. you know. And then apparently yeah. you're not. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's it. It's about shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, and then Colleen, of course, gets uh, her whole world blown up at the end of right. Iron Fist and mm -hmm. is now brought into this new complication zone, which you sort of have a responsibility for. So. Yeah, I think Colleen's just hasn't really emotionally or mentally dealt with thing that happened in Iron Fist, so she kind of is going through a bit of a breakdown. And then, and, and you guys are all, is so everyone is going to be interacting with all, with, with, uh, with Mike and Jessica too? All of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I, yeah. Every single person that's in our cast at some point has it's a scene with somebody else. Yeah. yeah. So how did... There was a, there was, um, there was one scene towards the end, I forget which episode exactly, where it was the first time where a bunch of us were in the room room with Claire Temple, the Zora Doris Dawson's character, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> I just, there was a long conversation with like, yeah, okay, so I haven't seen you since Daredevil season two, you haven't seen us, because she's been, of course, in all the shows, right, so right, right. That, was a, that was a complicated day. That's amazing, yeah. well, it's funny, because all four of these characters, and, and these seasons, and you know, with two and everything, had a slightly different tone, and then you bring them together, and what, can you just talk a little bit about the challenges of taking four very different characters 
and combining them into one series? Well, I mean, I, again, I, I don't think enough credit can go to Margaret Ramirez, who was the showrunner, and then also S.J. Clarkson, who did the first two episodes, uh, the director, came in and, and had this sort of brilliant idea that each of them have a, a separate color pattern. Mm -hmm. And so not only did we have to figure out, you know, whether if Daredevil was red and then he walked into Iron Fist's green palette, like how was that going to work and what was the dominant color and how that You're, you're giving me like third grade color wheel flashbacks <laughs> right now. And I'm like, red, green, yes, no, rainbow, right? right? But it's, 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 it's just sort of a beautiful landscape of this incredibly unattractive cast. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it, it, it oh, works stop. out. <laughs> so it just works out really well. I mean, I, the idea is that you should feel like if you've watched the show, that you're any of the shows, that you're in those shows. Right. But then when they blend, it's something new. Who got the best fight scene? I got plenty. Yeah, yeah. I, I I would say, I'd say Electric yeah. Yeah. is a major ass throughout yep. all of it. So, yeah. Right. What do you guys think? I'm, I, I agree. Finn and I had one that I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, the whole, the whole gang. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, that was, that was, I mean, we had a lot of, it was one of the one of the fight scenes where we actually had a, a great deal of time to prepare, prepare for it. Mm. So when we showed up, we were cool, but both pretty clear. There's a great one in three as well, actually, when we first all meet. Oh yeah. Mm. Injuries. Yeah, maybe a few. Injuries. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh injuries. Sometimes. No, really? Did you? Safe set. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, that's the thing that we do. Yep. Uh, oh, that's long. Because you're old. That is like you with anything. Yeah. So. Uh, can we talk about the hand a little bit? I know this is a and Sigourney Weaver's character, and everyone's trying to like piece things together, etc. What can you say? She's our main antagonist. Mm -hmm. um, we don't ever refer to anybody as the bad guy. Right. Um, she has a point of view. Mm -hmm. They have a point of view, uh, and that may not necessarily be the same point of view. Um, she's been part of a of a long term plan to get something done. Uh, and if you've been watching all of the shows, there are little breadcrumbs along the way that turn into cake hmm. that, that is Defenders. Now, did you guys watch each other's seasons at, just to be completely up on everything that happened? Finn? <laughs> what yeah. is that? Right. Okay, look. Finn, in fairness, Finn, Finn was shooting here. Yeah, so I, I shot Fist and Defenders back to back for a year solid, so I, I didn't have any time. I, I, uh, I watched season one. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. I watched season one of Daredevil. I watched season one of Daredevil, and I've seen it like the first couple of episodes. But you don't know my work. You didn't know my work, did you? No. Oh. Nice. You didn't know mine either. Actually, hold on. You was always asking me about mine as well. So. No, I watched them all. Just after Ed. Yes. There is like an uncomfortable pressure to be like, oh, secretly, I've only seen seven episodes of Mike <laughs> Luke Cage. So I have to. I can only talk about the first seven episodes. And did they? Did, did those guys watch yours? Uh, I hope you like. Who knows? Yeah. You'll have to ask them. Right. Right. Exactly. And. What's the plan for like another season of Defenders, or was it just like getting this together, or are you already plotting it, their? Look, as we do all of our shows, we're we're hopeful that uh, we may do this again, um, but that's really Netflix call for us to do. It's uh, look, I'm just glad that we landed on the moon and everybody got back safely. So, uh, and then they're off again. I you know they're going to be making more shows. So, can't yeah. wait. Yes, cannot wait. Well, The Defenders is August 18th on Netflix. So excited to see the, all of you guys come together. It's going to be amazing. We'll be back with more coverage from Comic-Con. <laughs>